and the clock is ticking. On Saturday, the People's United Party National Party Council unanimously supported the People's Declaration in which the party lays out its reasons why it is recommending that Belizeans vote no to the ICJ. PUP leader John Bresenio says that several delegates of our 31 constituencies were present for the meeting. Standard bearers, local executives, we have to go and give that all from house to house. Let's explain it to our people what this declaration is saying so that on April 10th, our people are going to come out and we are going to say no to the ICJ, ladies and gentlemen. The 31 constituencies were here present. Um, members of the executive were here. Members of the National Assembly were here. There are a few that did not come for, you know, they were sick or they had some other prior con um, um, engagement, which is um, well, why they couldn't come here. But there was full participation from the entire party. Every organ of the party was present here today. PUP Forge George A. Representative and former Prime Minister Said Musa was absent. Like Brisenio, Musa believes that a yes vote is the pathway leading to the permanent resolution to the dispute by the International Court of Justice. Within the party, Brisenio's yes stance faced tremendous opposition, mainly coming from the Southern and Western Caucus. So the question now is, is there animosity hovering over the People's United Party following the results of the consultations? Absolutely not, actually. In every constituency that I went, the people resoundingly tell you, no, we don't trust the government. We're not ready, the educational campaign, and the list can go on. In every constituency that I went, it was a resounding no. So there's no animosity within the party. The party is united within this. Yes, I know that the, the former prime minister feels differently, and that is his right as, as, as a member of this party and as a Belizean citizen, if he wants to think differently. I mean, that, 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 but there's no animosity. The party is united in this resolve to have the people of this country on the 10th of April to vote no. The topic of the ICJ referendum is now completely polarized with the two major political parties at separate ends of the question. Nine years ago, the UDP declared its official yes stance. And with the PUP's no position, voters are now left questioning yes or no to the ICJ. What we are doing is that everybody needs to go on the streets. We need to have um, organized meetings. I'm starting to have my neighborhood, neighborhood um, um, meetings starting next week. Um, I'll try to have a neighborhood meeting every Thursday in Orange Rock Central and going, giving out leaflets and talking to people about, about coming out, why we believe that the, the country is not ready to go to the referendum on the 10th of April and that if the government insists on having a referendum on the 10th of April, then we have to vote no. Again, they're working on a plan in, in the banners and the Facebook and the TV ads and the radio ads. All of that is coming into play. Just like the UDP crank up, we the crank up today. Hippolyta Novello, News 5.